Hello everyone, my name's Ollie, and we're back again with another Bridgemaster uh, video today. So, have we, uh, have we tried the Bridgemaster section of BBO? Uh, we go to the practice section, Bridgemaster, and then there are five different levels that we can choose from. So, Today we've got almost the next the next hand in the series that we've we've been going through. We've been going at level three, which is uh, not sure what they call it, but yeah, it's the sort of middle level from one to five. We've got a lovely hand here. Have a quick look at the bidding. We as the South hand open a no trump. North hand bid stamen. We bid two spades on the south hand. And North decided with their 16 points opposite South's 15 to 17. That was enough for slab. So take a moment. Think about how you would play this hand. Yeah. Perhaps pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to I'm going to make a plan myself. Okay, so let's have a look, shall we? It looks like we've got three spade tricks with the ace, the king, and one of the jack or the ten, because we might lose the queen. It's very possible. So we've got three spade tricks, two heart tricks is five, four club tricks is 11, sorry, three spades, two hearts is five, four clubs is nine, ace, king of diamonds is 11. So we can't really afford to use the queen of spades and the queen of diamonds. Hmm. Are we just going to guess in both suits and hope for the best? Or is there something a bit a bit more clever in the hand? Yeah. I know lots of people at my local club. They would win the ace. Take a finesse. Ah, oh, that one was wrong. Oh, well, we'll... Uh, We'll win the club, draw some trumps, oh, and we'll take a diamond finesse. Ah, oh, shucks. <laughs> Both finesses were wrong. The beauty of Bridge Master. I've seen I've seen the cards before. I know West has got the Queen of Spades. I know East has got the King, uh, Queen of Diamonds. So next time they go, ah, I know what to do. I'll play a spade to the Ace. Take the finesse with, where I know it's work, huh? So Bridge Master moves the cards around, so you can't just finesse and hope for the best. And if it doesn't work, you go back and you can get it right next time. Bridge Master moves the cards around to make sure you really do find the technical line. So, back to the hand again. Yeah. If we play the spade suit and or the diamond suit, there's a chance that the queen's in the wrong place. And we might go wrong. And we might choose to take a finesse the wrong way. So, if we can't play the suit, it's possible that if the opponents play the suit, for example, if East played a diamond, we could play the 10. And either that's going to win the trick or if, we, if West is forced to play the Queen, we'll win the Ace and our Jack will be promoted. 
Yeah. So it's always better if we can get the opponents to play the suit for us when we've got these two-way finesses. How can we get the opponents to... We've got to put the opponents in for that to be correct. Yeah, for us, for us to even get that possibility. We can't do it in hearts. We can't do it in clubs. So either we can put the opponents in with a diamond and hope they give us the spade trick. We can put the opponents in with a spade. Hope they give us a diamond trick. Yeah. Very crucially, I want. I think we should put them in with a spade. That's something that we have control over. What we don't want to do, we don't want to put them. We play eight, play ace king in the, the third round of diamonds. Then they think they can exit a heart, give a rough and discard, and we've still got to find the queen. So. What I'm going to suggest we do is we play ace king of spades. And then play it. If the queen drops, very good. We're home and dry. If it doesn't, we can play a third round of spades. Yeah. And make them lead a diamond. Any flaw to this plan? What happens if they play a club back or a heart back? Yeah. Then we're still going to set the first. So, <laughs> tricky part of the hand. We can always cash two rounds of spades, like I'm going to do now. King of spades, a spade to the ace. Queen didn't drop, but to stop the opponents being able to, if they get in with a spade, to play a heart or a club back, we're going to eliminate the suit. Stop whoever's got the queen of spades from being able to play back some of the side suits. Person didn't want to win the Queen of Spades. Yeah, we, we, I don't know who's got it, East or West, but both of them, as we can see, especially on the last trick, decided not to trump in. So we're going to make them win the Queen of Spades. Now they're forced to play a diamond back. If they'd have played a heart, I could trump in the north hand, throw away the ten of diamonds from the south hand. I wouldn't have a diamond loser anymore. Yeah, they would have to give up a rough and discard. So, like we say, you can play low, let the queen appear, or if it doesn't, the jack or the ten will win. And then we've got the rest of the tricks. It's a very nice hand, a very textbook hand. The technique is known as an elimination and end play. So we'll run we'll run through that once again, just as a quick summary. We don't want to have to take the guess in diamonds particularly. So I'm gonna win trick one. It's very possible for us to take two rounds of spades, leaving the queen outstanding. If the queen drops, we're home and dry already. We don't have a spade loser. We've only got one diamond loser. We might not even have that if we can get guess the finesse right. So it doesn't actually matter which way around you cash these spades. You could play the ace first and then a small one to the king. So at this point, we're, miss we're still missing the Queen of Spades. We're going to cash all of our outside tricks. Yeah. 
watch all of the outside tricks. If east and west, if whichever hand, let's say west is out of, uh, well, we know west is out of clubs here. If they trump in, they won't have a club to return. Yeah, so they would be forced into the same situation. Here, we're still on leads. We know the Queen of Spades will win the trick and put them in a bad position. So we throw them in, eliminated both the hearts and the spades. Oh, sorry, hearts and the clubs. Yeah. And now they're forced to pick up the Queen of Diamonds for us. Yeah. So a nice elimination end play. Let me know uh, via email at hello at learnbridgeonline.com if you're enjoying these. If the level's too easy for you or it's too hard, let me know. Your feedback is uh, much appreciated. Other than that, thanks everyone for watching. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.